this on your bucket list. <laughs> Get to the next level. If I would have to imagine a perfect morning in Kochi, Kerala, this would be it. I haven't done a vlog in a really long time. You can tell me if you want me to do this more or not. The ICTT is a tourism forum organized by ATTOY and supported by Kerala Tourism. Today we are definitely celebrating and boosting the tourism of India and Kerala specifically. Today is actually the day after the conference. I was too nervous to vlog in advance and I didn't want to make any statements. I was just filling my head with positive thoughts, practicing. But first, I would just like to ask you because you've had a long day, you had a nice lunch right now. Could you please just all stand up for me? Clap for yourself! You can do the pandemic! And I was so honored that they asked me to come back on stage to speak about how to crack YouTube because that's something that a lot of people get wrong. Can you raise your hand if you read the instruction manual when you buy a new home appliance? Nobody. <laughs> we just throw away the instruction manual. Well, that's kind of the same thing with YouTube and that's why a lot of people find it very hard to succeed on YouTube. Every single practice run that I had turned out to be a presentation of an hour and 15 minutes and I only had 50 minutes. I was really, really stressed about that, especially when it comes down to tourism and YouTube. Oh my gosh, I can talk for hours. And the interesting thing is, because YouTube already has a huge database of long-form content, the short-form content is actually also being used to funnel the audience towards long-form content. Luckily, during the presentation, I managed to keep it at exactly 50 minutes. It was absolutely exhilarating. Universe, please, more of this. But right now I am exhausted. I don't even know how I'm making coherent sentences. Woke up at 3.30 a.m. In between, I also was constantly practicing the presentation because I think practice makes perfect. If this is the first event where I'm speaking at after the pandemic, I really wanted to get it right. Currently, I've ordered the weirdest Kerala food combination that you could ever imagine actually it's north meets south what is this the food version of the Indian movie two states because I have palak paneer here which is paneer cottage cheese cubes with spinach gravy and then I have it with Kerala paratha which is the most flaky paratha you can get pretty much the flakiest Indian bread I asked them is it like the same size as a roti and they were like yeah yeah normal size and now I'm like what? These are like full-on like pizza bottoms. They're huge and look at the flakiness. Oh my gosh, I wish you could smell this because it is perfection. Oh, I'm completely drooling. Just going to tear a piece off and this is a little bit harder to tear, I would have to say, than a regular paratha. Okay, good, good. Then we are taking a cube of palak paneer. My gosh, that gravy, that gravy looks phenomenal. Cheers to... Uh, just turning new chapters. <laughs> mm.
The crowd was also really wonderful. And overall, I just had a blast on stage. It's so good to be speaking again. I had a really good night of sleep. The night before my presentation, I was woken up every single hour by the freaking mosquitoes in here. I was not expecting so many mosquitoes to be in Kochi. I should have known better because I did a yoga teacher training here and I got, you know, stung by mosquitoes every single morning but apparently not coming here for three years makes you forget about those things and one of the hacks that i discovered is to cover your whole head everything with a towel when you go to sleep a towel will leave you enough breathing space but at the same time like most of your skin is covered so the mosquitoes left me alone last night thank goodness and i had a wonderful night of sleep so excited to be going back to grand hyatt kochi bogati why you ask well if you haven't watched my previous videos about grand hyatt kochi bogati i have linked them down in the description below obviously right now i'm also going to take you through the experience so let's go if i would have to design my future home this would pretty much be it Every time I come here, it's just instant peace, but something like this, this sweet, that I haven't seen before and I'm just like... mind is blown i get to stay here for three two nights three nights this is something that you have to know about me when i feel really really comfortable i start speaking dutch <sighs> I have also been here a couple of times on a private vacation because it is truly one of my favorite properties in Kerala. This is fantastic. going to check out all the food and enjoy the magnificent pool they have an indoor outdoor pool there's a massage there are multiple restaurants here I'm just completely overwhelmed wow just wow <laughs> This pomelo salad, it could easily be the reason, the only reason to travel back to Grand Hyatt Kochi Bogati. How much song? It's too much salt. These are actually anise seeds and when you put them in hot water, apparently it is really, really good for digestion. I've recently been drinking a lot of this because it's caffeine free. It tastes delicious and it's good for your digestion. 1010 would recommend. I want to tell you a story. Usually I don't um, necessarily feel at home at hotels, but this hotel just gives me that homey feeling. The bed is perfect and the rain shower has the absolute 
perfect pressure. Actually, you can adjust the pressure to make it as hard as you want it to be. And then it also goes to 40 degrees so you can make it as hot as you want it to be in general that's actually lacking in most rain showers and i have been under a lot of rain showers it's either like pistraaltje as we say in dutch like this like soft soft water just flowing over you and then if it doesn't get like properly hot it's just frustrating i get cold i need a properly hot shower this one is just Tomorrow, even more good food is coming our way because we are going for the Sunday brunch. I have never been to the Sunday brunch, so I'm very excited about that. But first, I need to make space for it with my sanfo there. <laughs> mm. had quite high expectations of a Sunday brunch at Colony but it is exceeding my expectations. Currently what I'm seeing is that there are limited options of very high quality which is something that I always really really appreciate. Oh this food looks so amazing. Look at this. How cute is this? Mm. Oh, it's fun. By now I'm a little bit spoiled because I have this same view from my suite. But if you're staying in one of the regular rooms, you have to come here for the Sunday brunch or at least a dinner because the view is just spectacular. Ooh, I'm gonna try this one too. This also looks so pretty. I think this is tomato and burrata. How beautiful is this? Oh my gosh. Almost too beautiful to eat. Okay, I'm messing it up. I'm messing it up. Why am I? Here we go. Fantastic. I'm in full vacation mood. If I would have to imagine a perfect morning in Kochi, Kerala, this would be it. I am baffled by this luxury houseboat by Grand Hyatt Kochi. I've seen houseboats before and they seem like an amazing experience, but I have never seen anything like this. This is wild. You can stay with four people on this boat overnight but you can also have events here with up to 12 people i mean houseboats in general are already very very beautiful and just give that full flavor of kerala but this is just 
Taking it to the next level, I can't. Breathtaking. Oh my gosh, put this on your bucket list. <laughs>